Welcome back to Nurses Nook and Kona YouTube channel. Today we are going to see one of the most important topics, seizure. It looks like everyone knows about seizure. But today in this video, we are going to know about how the seizure occurs, its types and stages, the seizure triggers and its management. You may have come across the term seizure, epilepsy and status epilepticus, which almost look similar. But as medical professional, it's important to know about the differences. First of all, how does a seizure occur? A seizure is a burst of uncontrolled electrical activity between brain cells that causes temporary abnormalities in muscle tone or movement, behavior, sensation or states of awareness. Note that the term seizure is only a single event that may occur due to an acute cause. It may be due to high fever or medication. When a person is having recurring seizure, then we define it as epilepsy. Then, what is status epilepticus? A seizure that lasts longer than 5 minutes or having more than one seizure within a 5 minute period without returning to normal level of consciousness between episodes then we call it as status epilepticus. Note that it is a medical emergency since it may lead to permanent brain damage or death. Now let's see in simple about the classification of seizure. The two major classes are focal and generalized seizure. As like the name, the focal seizure occurs only on the part of brain that is affected and most of the time patient is awake and aware during seizure which is called as simple partial seizure. If the patient is confused or awareness is affected then we call it as complex partial seizure. Whereas in generalized seizure, it starts from focal seizure from one area and spread to both sides of the brain. Here the patient have impaired awareness. In this type, most of the time the patient experience absent seizure also called as petit mal seizure and tonic clonic seizure also called as grand mal seizure. Now let's learn about the phases of seizure when it may occur and common symptoms. The four phases of seizure are prodromal, early ictal or called as aura phase, the ictal and the final post ictal phase. The first stage prodromal phase is a subjective feeling or sensation that can occur several hours or even days before the actual seizure. Prodromal is defined as a period from beginning of early symptom to more obvious diagnosable symptom. The most common symptoms of prodrome include confusion, anxiety, irritability, headache, tremor and anger or other mood disturbances. People who have tonic clonic also called as grand mal seizure seem more likely to have prodrome signs. These kinds of seizure affect both sides of your brain and cause convulsion and loss of consciousness. The next phase early ictal or aura happens right before a seizure start and is a warning that it is about to happen. The symptoms come on quickly and may only last a few seconds. The symptoms of this phase are deja vu, a sense that something has happened before when it hasn't. Jamai vu, it is a feeling that you are seeing something when you know well for the first time. Then they may have vision problems, odd smells, sounds or taste, dizziness. They may also feel numbness or like pins and needles in parts of a body, headache, nausea. Sometimes they may be panic or feelings of intense fear. If you have an aura, you should try to get to a safe place before the seizure happens. Also, if you have an aura that doesn't give way to other stages of seizure, you have what's called a partial seizure. This stage, ectal, is what likely comes to mind when you think of a seizure. During it, intense electrical changes happen in your brain. This stage, you may have physical signs such as loss of awareness, blacking out, feeling confused, memory lapse, trouble hearing, odd smells or taste, hallucination, seeing things that aren't really there, seeing flashing lights, trouble speaking, drooling, loss of muscle control, twitching, repeated movements like lip smacking or chewing, body convulsion, trouble breathing and racing heart. The final stage is the post ectal which the brain trying to get back to normal following the seizure. The body begins to relax. The physical after effects of seizure are also set in. The length of the stage will depend on the type of seizure and parts of the brain that were involved. Some people start to feel better very quickly whereas some may take few hours before they feel back to normal. 
Now let's see about the management of seizure. Whenever patient gets seizure in home or in public places, then we can manage them by the following steps. Ease the person to the floor. Turn the person gently to one side. This will help the person breathe. Clear the area around the person of something hard or sharp. This can prevent injury. Put something soft and flat like a folded jacket under his or her head. Remove eyeglasses, loosen ties or anything around the neck that make it hard to breathe. Then the medical emergency immediately. As a healthcare professional, how can we manage them in the hospital? We need to follow the same step till the seizure stops and observe the timing of seizure episode to confirm the type of seizure and also monitor how they behave during the seizure. Once the seizure is over, then immediately start to do an A2E assessment, put them on oxygen if needed, turn to the side that is the recovery position, connect to the monitor, blood glucose monitoring, place IV to start medication. The first line of management involves lorazepam IV and metazolam IM. If seizure continues, get ready with levetiracetam, that is Keppra, phenytoin and valporic acid. That's how we can manage the seizure effectively. Hope you have understood better about the seizure, its type, stages and the management. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries or suggestion, give in the comment box. Let's meet in the next video. If you didn't subscribe the channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get your uploaded videos immediately. Once again, thanks for watching.